all my life. I've stood up to bullies without even recognizing it as a compensation for not having stood up to the people who are bullying me. This is going to be an interesting topic, one that I hope that you're able to focus on for long enough so that you're not multitasking and so that you understand what's being said. So I recommend that you tune in, like you literally lock in on what you're listening to right now so that you can hear the story of how I try to relate wellness to conservation and why I carry that message directly into nature on a regular basis. So for beginners, even in high school, I remember there was this one girl bullying another girl. And I know it could have been guys. It could have been whoever, but there were girls and one girl was belittling another girl. And I pointed out a truth in the group. I said, if you think she's so dumb, why do you copy off of her tests? Just so you can pass. And she got mad. She told me her boyfriend, Anwan, who was a far more physically superior being to me, was going to take care of me after class. <laughs> I wasn't afraid. However, in my past, in my direct family, there were people who I was afraid of. I'm not sure if that showed up. I have a lot of belief in what's called synchronicity. And if you're not careful about how you say it, the base of the word can sound like sin. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. So, I apply this logic of spelling in my storytelling to tell the complete story, hopefully as it was intended to be presented. So somewhere along this thought pro process, this thought progression, I want to point out a couple of tidbits about bullying, uh, but give me a moment or two to think about and formulate those thoughts. So stay tuned. So <laughs> pause the video because we had a circumstance. You see right behind me all these boulders. Well, this guy was riding their bike at a high speed and put themselves between a rock and a hard place. Do you ram the person? <laughs> Or could you have slowed down beforehand since you saw the situation? So what I'm showing you on this video is a compilation of storytelling that requires focus, which is almost like putting a puzzle together. And somewhere in that focus, somewhere in that time frame, you'll understand we're talking together at this point. You're helping me just as much as I'm helping you. So today is the last day of the month, last day of May. And for June, I'm making a commitment to only have 
vegan type meals. What does that mean? That means good food, healthy food, you know, fresh grapes. There's this cat up the road who taught, taught me about it. He's pretty smart. In fact, his name is Smart, Ralph Smart. Why am I naming names? Well, it's kind of like my friend, Scott Viriel, who didn't have the chance to graduate from high school. And we're 1.14 miles in, by the way. And he didn't have a chance to graduate from high school because he was shot down in an apparent gang shooting. So let me think about how I'm gonna say the rest of this eff effectively and efficiently. Hopefully you got to hear that hummingbird. Okay, so here's a way to think about it. Question for the non-bullies. If you see an ant on the table in front of you, it's getting close to your food. You normally don't keep ants on the table in front of you. Do you feel like you should reach out and squash it? Do you feel like you should use some kind of a bug vacuum to vacuum it up and take it outside? Or would you try to gently nudge it onto your own being to take it outside? You see, whether we're bullies or not, the aspect of bullying can be felt in our feelings by levels, measures of comparison. For an example, if you were to see a hummingbird land in front of you, now some of you might be terribly afraid of hummingbirds or any nature, but does that feel different than when the ant was in front of you? What if a caterpillar were crawling on the table or a wasp? Or what if you had some quote unquote resented family member or friend? Would they be resented? Or would that feeling of resentment be a continued judgment? So I learned a lot by thinking things through and talking them through. And I have a great amount of success because there are people listening as people in a community who can resonate energy vibrational frequencies together we can recognize when people are in the process of a transformation we can recognize the young Michael Jordans as they emerge somehow we can recognize there's a level of talent. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been selected in the top three. But we can't always recognize the absolute unlocked potential of one another as we consider. I hope you got to see that beautiful yellow butterfly, yellow and black. I hope you got to see it. What I'm trying to say is, it's hard to see, <laughs> speaking of caterpillars, right? That butterfly, synchronicity, and something else flew by us, a long-tailed butterfly. Let's see if you can see it. I hope you got to see it. <clears throat> hope you got to see it. Hope you get to see this too. So I've come out here to put in physical work 
sometimes collecting these things that aren't supposed to be here to dispose of them properly. But I'm also here to say that even when these items are disposed of properly, they turn up. <laughs> I hope you got to see that. They turn up over and over and over again, like patterns. When you have someone who's really good at recognizing patterns, thinking about how things will unfold in advance, having a backup plan for the backup plan, like a Michael Jordan, for an example. You can see levels of intricacy that make possible those superhuman performances that we once thought impossible in just any basic human being. Basic human beings have been basically indoctrinated into basic sets of belief. Amen. Preach it. That's what the dog is saying. And so since we have not spoken our truths, Oh wait, there's more. The truth is, blue is one of the rarest colors in nature. You might have to be watching this on a smart screen, on a big TV. Definitely should be holding this sideways so you can see this full screen on your small device. But you should be watching this on a TV. Television is an instrument. What we show on it, and oftentimes what we don't show on it, are things that can lend to bullying. So, so I told this girl outright, if you think she is so dumb, the girl that she was bullying, why do you copy off of her test so that you can pass? She got mad. She said, my boyfriend, Anwan, is going to beat you up. Actually, she said, take care of you after class. Which at that time in high school, I'd had a friend die in a drive-by shooting, Scott Viriel. He started life pretty much like I did. We even went to the same kindergarten and we attended the same high school. Anyway, give me a second to think about how I'm gonna say the rest of this. So I wanna talk briefly about image as it applies to bullying. There are certain parts of the image you're seeing right now that I didn't choose, like this hat. This hat was found in Big Bend National Park. And <laughs> the shirt was received because I got an unexpected, like that, an unexpected bonus when I bought someone else a pair of shoes. Anyway, I did choose these sunglasses. There are a few styles that I like that wrap around so that you're not disturbed by glare, particularly when you're driving. And there are certain things like this pendant itself that's on my neck that came to me in unusual ways. So 
Okay, so I came out, came up with a, I didn't even come up with it. The creek bed I walked past, someone was in there building a giant rock cairn. Now, I've seen these in the past in random places where there are not supposed to be rock cairns. And I've gotten a little bit perturbed. So I'll go and knock them down. They're not supposed to be there. And in that regard, I could be seen as bullying someone who builds rock cairns. That could be the Michael Jordan of rock cairn building. I might even, on the way back, remember to show you the clip of what it looked like so that we can see how this story ties together and how logically I admire your work, even as much as I critique it. And so it's when people stop critiquing, stop talking about something that it truly dies. Like my friend Scott Viriel, there is someone in this group who's watching this video, who went to high school during the same time as Scott and I, but they didn't go to kindergarten with Scott. They only met us in high school. They might not even know that there is a Scott Viriel who passed away. They might not know how careless they are with some of the things that they were carrying because those things weren't valuable to them. These sunglasses are prescription. So I made a choice to get what I wanted when I had to have something built. And I care about these. I care about them enough that I don't want to lose them. Someone didn't care about certain things like this hat because it came to me as a, a gift. Well, I can sweat in it, throw it in, in the washer, not be afraid, afraid to wear it out. Got some hiccups right there. Not be afraid to wear it out because of the condition it was given to me. The condition we're all given to one another, we might not recognize the fragments, the fractures, we might not recognize the repeated signs, the synchronicities both to you and to me. We might not be recognizing even the birds or the insects singing around us over the sound of the airplanes. <laughs> we, we might be challenged over and over with the multiple layers of rubbish that we put out just to consume the one pure thing that someone is selling at a profit and to be allowed to talk about these things out loud, aloud. Think about the spelling that goes into what we're allowed to say aloud. Socially, if we don't believe that we've been conditioned, I'd like to challenge anyone to the same challenge that I'm gonna go through, and that is to forego animal-based foods for the month of June. In my case, I'm doing it to break old habits, old ways, and how much I weighed when in the old days. <laughs> I'm rejuvenating myself in these challenging conditions and because they're challenging to see any progress and to actually feel, to actively feel different. Say I got 
type two diabetes. Say I got high blood pressure. Say I got mental darknesses, mental fogs. Say I can't prioritize things enough to keep in touch with my own direct family members. Well, it pays to join in and participate in the things that you want to nurture because that is your kingdom. And there's no more clarity or sign that you could possibly receive than these super blue skies that you're seeing. That's the reason I'm wearing a hat today. Yesterday, the top of my head got a little bit sunburned because the sky was so unusually clear. You guys know what I'm talking about. When you look up, usually it's hazy. Where I'm at, we were blessed. We've been blessed continuously. As if some of these beings are so appreciative of these necessary gifts from nature that we actually pay attention. So if we're just paying attention to the big screen, looking at advertised, sponsored, narrated content, and if you're not seeing the same inspiring message, did you hear that? If you're not seeing the same synchronicities, if you're not seeing the same people overcome things without being jealous, you might want to consider that the things we get upset at, even the Karen builders and the Karens, <laughs> it's not, it's not worth being upset at. Check this out. We got a helicopter. Sometimes I wonder, there's also a dragon, two dragonflies. Sometimes I wonder how many things, how many tactics can be used to scare us. Since a young age, I knew that I could pass away. Someone in my immediate family threw me headfirst into the tub as a toddler because I'd wet myself. I would find out later in life that they had some troubles in their past that caused them such outbursts, irresponsible outbursts. And for a long time, that's what I defended other people against was these people that would have irresponsible outbursts because I knew how to talk to that devil in a way that would result in de-escalating the situation. Different levels, different devils. Gets really tricky when you feel that you've been really good at eliminating, vanquishing the dark spaces. And then you suddenly find out the pace is just now picking up, baby. We gotta get this stuff into gear. We're at 1.71 miles. 1.71 miles, someone's circling a helicopter overhead. Maybe I shouldn't go in this direction. Maybe I should just stop talking for just a little while. So I pass by another water bottle with multiple components. Sponsored and brought to you by someone successful. How did they become successful? Well, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't an accident to be selected in the top three. It wasn't an accident to even just be selected. Someone had to try. So stay tuned for the rest of this segment.
So just getting back to those rock cairns, the reason I didn't like them and I would knock them over almost with contempt is because they're not natural, you know? They're effective for marking spaces where you need to know a route, where it's a published, well-known route. But at a certain point, there are destructive elements to our randomness of creation. If you don't think that's true, think about how many children have been raised or not raised with all of the people that helped create them. Think about that for a moment. So the same thing happens in wilderness. Whatever's not tended to will grow in certain directions. If we overlook that we had friends dying thought we had an example but it was just it was a seed pod it wasn't what I thought it was but if we overlook the examples of our friends dying we can't recall it because we didn't think about it too much to begin with well we might not recognize when wildlife itself is in jeopardy because we are creating new situations that often can drive out some animals from their own territory because they are that wary of mankind. And I hesitated to say that because of gender neutrality, because of humanity. Because of humanity, and all of the things we value as important, sometimes we overlook what we haven't been seeing in a very long time. Here in my city, where we have these beautiful blue skies, the insects are starting to come back around, the mosquitoes are becoming for sure noticeable versus last year when there were none and the absence of the bat, the bats, continues. You can hear the cardinal singing. The absence of the singing of the bats at night continues. And sometimes it's worse in these wild spaces than it is in our domesticated areas because our, our domesticated areas Our domesticated areas have so much water. All right, so I don't even know how many miles I went because this is the first time that my device quit on me. Even though this morning it said I had 17 days to go and I just talked with a new friend saying how reliable this solar powered device was, it quit on me and I had seen at the last recorded number, seven point something miles. So I'd walked quite a bit. I planned to run, but we ended up talking quite a bit about spirituality. And uh, on this beautiful, clear, blue day under the sun, my trail friend and I talked about some truly transformative things. So I'm getting back to my car here. I'm going to put this video together so that you can see it and enjoy it today itself, the last day of May. All right, so I just wanted to finish up this video um, with a couple of additional bits of information. One is that the hat that I was wearing, the baseball cap with the flag on it, I actually found that at Friedrich Park and not in Big Bend. Uh, I was a little bit... Um, I don't know, 
not confused, but I did confuse it with another hat that I received when I was in Big Bend. I say received. Um, some of these things that show up uh, end up back in Lost and Found. Some of the things end up uh, not going through Lost and Found, but the baseball cap that I was wearing was in pretty interesting condition. Um, prior to me actually being able to wear it, it had to get washed, you know, uh, sterilized basically. And, um, and the other error is that the watch I'm wearing currently, it actually had said 17% charge, not 17 days. And even at 17%, that watch should have continued to function, uh, especially considering I was in full sun. So I've had mixed results with letting these smart watches get down close to the 20% range, which usually should be enough for five, five days of use. Um, but on these extended hikes, like for an example today, uh, I was, I was able to record an over seven mile hike. It came out to closer to eight total, although the last part wasn't recorded. So currently it says I have 17,478 steps. And um, I actually need about 25,000 more if I wanted to get the 300,000 steps for the month of May um, on this Garmin badge system. So I don't think I'm gonna be getting that. Uh, it's possible I could still make an attempt for it. But for right now, the most interesting transformation is going to occur in my life when I return to the plant-based meal system. And uh, that in a, in a sense is a form of fasting in itself where we are not eating animal-based products uh, continuously, which bring a level of ease and nourishment, easy nourishment uh, to us that we don't always give commensurate gratitude for. So I'm going to be going plant-based. I wanted to put this video out, video out today just to talk about some general ideas about wellness and conservation. And you've seen, you've seen the imagery on this channel. You've seen the things that I come across, which include uh, snakes, spiders, wind scorpions, and on and on. You've seen the natural component that I try to integrate into this page. You've seen some of the imagery, like the uh, details over my shoulder and what we're talking about. So now what I'd like you to see is some participation. And in order to do that, we're going to need some comments in the comments area. So if you have some comments, please be sure to share your comments. But in the meantime, if you want to see the journey and apply it for yourself in terms of what your health can do, what the health can you do to recover your health, then please subscribe to this channel and consider giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't appreciate the content or if you think that it was too uh, disjointed. Uh, in the meanwhile, for those of you who recognize this is a long conversation that has a lot of components that are integral, working parts that link up to one another, uh, you'll also recognize that health is wealth. So hopefully you're well on the journey to recovering your health, to establishing your your nest egg, your retirement fund, and uh, hopefully you're having a great time doing it. I know that as I make new trail friends, thanks Tom for hanging out with me today. Um, as I make new trail friends, I recognize that some of the friends that I've let go of from the past uh, may still come around, but the reason that we freed up time was to experience time with one another um, in a more productive manner. As we turn to this time, to this new timing of events, 
that somehow seems like it's on an accelerated pace to uh, to redemption, to making a decision. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. What I am sure of is that I'm so glad that you are participating, watching this channel, uh, but mostly I'm glad that you're happy and um, that you're helping to share these insights. So thanks so much for continuing to help boost this channel. At the time of this recording, there were 385 subscribers, which by coincidence is a, uh, a key number on this channel. My website is us385.com. 3, 385, US 385 is the highway to Big Bend National Park. And that's a major discussion point on all of my um, all of my conversations and uh, and so yeah even the dogs will chime in the dogs the birds the animals if you've ever been walking with me and seen the birds the hawks especially show up um, then some of the things that you'll experience you'll recognize are synchronicities and, uh, and you'll start to recognize that these are signs in favor of goodness as we recognize the signs, um, as we pay attention to them and recognize that, hey, yeah, we're on the path. We're on the path of wellness and conservation and we're on the same team. So thanks for being on the, um, the team in favor of of creation, the team that's not in favor of of uh, killing, stealing, or destroying. So, thanks again for watching this show. I know it can sound like it's off the cuff because it is. I'm just saying these things as my spirit is presented with the opportunity to figure out how do we have these conversations together. So. The long story of the situation I had when I uh, encountered the situation in high school where someone was being bullied by somebody else is that in the long run, after class, the bullying girl's boyfriend understood that there was nothing that needed to happen. There are so many circumstances where I've had people confront me like they wanted to fight, even when I was a small person. Uh, I, I, inevitably, I grew tall. I seemed kind of big, and to some people I might seem scary. But the truth is, I don't want to fight anybody. I actually have a lot of time to spend to help to repair and to mend and to, um, to give thanks. But in terms of fighting and uh, struggling with health and wellness and conservation, Ain't got time for that. So uh, the truth will set you free. It might drive a lot of people from your presence. Um, so just don't back anyone into a corner when you speak the truth. Be aware that any, any person who is wanting to deliver a venomous uh, circumstance will go out of their way, especially when cornered, especially when they got nothing to lose. So. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff. I'm not sure if I'll post videos about this journey during the journey where I go vegan. Um, I might post something at the end that summarizes all of this in a hopefully cohesive way. But again, as this was supposed to be presented, it seems that uh, I was myself presented with some obstacles, which I overcame but I was also presented with some friends to help me through this journey. Again, thank you so much, Tom, for joining me on this journey today. I hope you're having a great evening. I hope you get to see this. And uh, till next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.